bathroom used to be. And as you can, well, I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, there's a hole here where I had to plug where the toilet used to sit. And this from about right here back was another room with a, two bunk beds. And it was a really small one. It was probably about the size of that plywood right there. In fact, it was the size because this is the wall where I took it out that divided this room from the bathroom. And where you're sitting is right about where the end of the tub is, was. <clears throat> but anyway, enough of that. Um, I found this piece of uh, metal here, and it's really heavy. And it came off the side of a refrigerator that I stripped out, but I've been using refrigerator parts for everything. And um, it doesn't quite fit. It's only 27 inches. Uh, the width of my bench is 29 inches. And the mill is, I think, 22 inches. So I should have plenty of room from the edge of this back to put my mill. And in fact, I think I'm going to have a little extra on the end of this. So uh, this is just problem solving. Uh, I'll pan you down here, try to move you around, and let you see what I've got going on here. So now what we've got is, this is to the edge, and, and I, I cut this with the uh, grinding wheel, cutoff wheel, on my grinder, and it wasn't very straight, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be. Uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to put this here like that, and then we're just going to make a trim or something to put back here in the back. Now I can take move my coffee out of the way here. I can take this and split the difference maybe. Go back about that far. And I found this piece here that came off of the building that I'm building that I'm working on and have been working on. The one I'm making great again. And this here was some of the uh, brackets that held all the metal together that uh, I used two befores instead because this is just too flimsy. And I thought maybe I could use this as a trim to go across there like that and overlap the edge of that and then just put me some nice screws here in the top and then in the sides and it'll hold it that way and down and before I do that yes I'm going to put a piece of camouflage tape right across here after I smooth that out and I'm probably going to go black with the drawers and then just maybe a camouflage stripe uh, across it all right now we've got that problem solved and I may even camouflage this strip. I don't know yet. Um, I can go black with the cam camouflage strip here, and then maybe do a stripe right there. On the, uh, we won't know that until we get to that point. It depends on how much camouflage tape I got, or if I got any money to buy anymore. All right. So now we've got that problem solved. Now we got to solve the problem back here. I don't want no chips going down in behind here. So I'm probably going to have to take the towel holder off the wall, which it needs to be moved anyway. Um, and take the switches off the wall, the switch off the wall for the 12 volt light, and the outlet, which is kind of loose anyway, it needs to be fixed. And Take another piece of this half inch plywood or uh, OSB and finish this out on this back wall and that will bring, get rid of this gap right here. And that will also give me a place to screw things to the wall if I need to. Uh, 
Uh, then, uh, once I've got this filled in, then I can come in here with a flat piece of trim and go overlap this and go the whole distance back to the wall and then just put a little flat piece on the back side of it like, like you would around the room in your house. Uh, I guess you'd call it a carpet hider strip, kickboard, whatever you want to call it, and put back here in the back. <coughs> And do the same thing on that side over there. Now, I found something else that I'm also going to try to incorporate in this uh, project. And it doesn't really have a whole lot to do with the bench, but it has to do with this area right here. And I'm going to turn you around here and show you what I've got going on here. Now, this here bench is, the, is actually the door that came off of the bedroom up front. And I just turned it sideways and mounted it in there and made a little bench out of it. And I put a strip across this in front of the carpet when I folded the carpet over. And um, I'm going to have to take and cut this plastic piece off all the way across here over to here and then trim that down so that it goes flush against the bottom of this door and you remember the keyboard drawer that I had found or was given to me and um, it came with that uh, little desk metal desk that came with the uh, drawers that I put underneath the lathe with the different color drawers and it just so happens that I can take and flatten these out right here this curve up on both sides flatten it out and set these trays in there and they fit perfect I can set these trays on that and then screw them down onto it flush with when this is bent over flat this will be flush with this edge and that will bring it out to something like that right there now I'm going to have to change this bracket right here and use an L bracket so that when I come up it comes out like this that way I have a way to screw it up to the bottom of the uh, bench and I'm just going to set that right up in this area right here and have it come out and uh, I think that'll make a nice uh, place to put stuff you know like I've already got you know got clamps and stuff like that this odds and ends stuff and um, we'll see if that works out pretty good I think it will and um, so right now, let me move you. So right now, um, I'm going to get ready to file the edges of this all the way around it like I did this front to kind of make it smooth so I'm not getting cut working with it and then I got to take this out after I draw my mark uh, just had a pencil I'm going to draw my mark where this where I want this to be which is right there that way when I go to put it back on there I can get it right back where it was now it doesn't really matter because um, all I know I know all I have to do is just put it to the center of these screw heads which actually lines up right where I need it and I'm going to take and use um, uh, tile glue uh, vinyl tile glue and put on this bench and we're going to glue this bad boy down where we want it um, I'm thinking 
thinking that my holes for the mill are going to fall back here past this tube of six that's underneath here. That way I can just drill a hole and use a regular nut and bolt to go down in it. And then I, all I have to do is just slide my drill out, reach underneath there, and put my nuts on it. Not my nuts. where we're at and we're going to go ahead and get this glue down and um, we might go ahead and start spraying this I, I actually want to do the spraying at night time when I'm getting ready to leave the shop that way uh, any fumes in here I'm gonna be in the house while this is for the night and that way overnight it can dry so that'll be probably the last thing is paint. Um, basically all I'm going to do is just pull the drawer out to about right there. Straighten me a rag around it right here. And uh, hell, I might just be able to unscrew it, take them off and uh, paint them. That way I can get all the way around them. And um, it don't matter if I get spray on the, uh, the wood because it's going to get covered with camouflage tape anyway, we think. Uh, I'd like to do some, incorporate some tread aluminum in this, but I don't have enough tread aluminum to do a corner piece here. That would really look good. Um, so, I'm going to see if I can find a piece of wood. I might have to piece it in in a couple pieces, and uh, I hope it looks good. Uh, I'd like to have all the walls done like this for the simple reason this is just that old, old thin plot paneling and you, know, you can't really put screws in it to hold anything up this here will make the walls a lot stronger and um, I don't even know if you can see where I'm putting my hand just jack you up here a little bit uh, it makes the, the walls a lot stronger and uh, kind of helps sturdy the walls so they're not shifting. You know, in a, in a camper, camper they shift. So um, we're probably going to do clean these up, and we're probably going to camouflage the uh, base plate for the excuse me outlet. Um, we're going to keep with the camouflage theme. Mainly because, first of all, I'm a camouflage super freak. Even my slippers are camouflage. They're a little wore out, but they're camouflage. <laughs> so, um, stay tuned.
have enough of the same camouflage I used on my doors. Um, I've got this camouflage. Yes, it's different, but the transition from there to there is not going to make that much of a difference. So, um, it's still going to look good. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to take and make a stripe across there about an inch below or maybe even a half inch below where this turn stops and starts straightening back up and I'm putting this on I mean it's it's still just barely tacky barrel some places it's got a little tack but while the paint is fresh uh, that will act as a glue agent so that when the paint dries it will stick really good to the sticky tape so yes if I ever take it off the paint's coming with it uh, and one of the uh, two reasons why I'm doing this one for looks and the other is these drawers do actually hit each other from time to time I can't get it adjusted right to where this drawer here acts like it, it's over that way a little bit too far and a little crooked. But to eliminate them from actually hitting each other, this tape between it, I may do a line down here, I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that that will actually cushion the blow for the, the drawers so that when they go in, the tape hits each other before the drawer does just a thought a theory so we're going to go ahead and uh, start putting this together or putting this on now I'm going to go about two inches to the other side and we've got to make damn sure they're straight so I want to get high level here scissors down here with them. Got them right there. Now we were out here about two inches. Maybe more. And then we'll wrap that all the way around. And then it'll go in the back. And that will help hold it. Then, we'll go in behind here and take our little exacto knife and I lose that thing every time I turn around. This is about the third time I've lost it today. Um, so when I find that, we'll be back. We found one, but it's a razor blade. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is go to the edge of this part and just cut down the line. number one and we'll do the rest in the same way enjoy the music
think the facing of this is done. I'll take you down here and let you show show you what what we got. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So now I'll bring you up here. And uh, we've got it ready for the mill to set on and mount it down. I'm not going to drill my holes till I get it here. It makes no sense to do that. Um, so as soon as it's here, we'll mount this in the center of this one, hopefully. That way I have plenty of travel each way. And um, that will wrap this up for part two. Um, we'll be getting the uh, meal Friday. Uh, it's scheduled to be delivered before three o'clock Friday. So uh, watch for that or watch for that uh, episode to come up. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more back here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, so. We'll try to uh, get this up today so you guys can see the progress of the uh, Bison Workshop Mill Bench. So, uh, you guys have a good one. Later.